So today I'm going to talk about my favorite acoustic guitar pedal board for playing live and why this one is my favorite is because it does exactly what I need it to do and has done so for years and years. And uh, this particular one was built so I can, I can strum hard and not have effects built in but it keeps the volume where I want it but then at just a, um, a, a single foot switch I'm at finger picking volume with effects built in. And uh, I looked for years trying to find something that existed to do exactly what I wanted to do, but I couldn't find it. So I ended up building my own. So I'm gonna give you some sound samples to start with, and then afterwards I'll uh, kind of break down how we got there with the routing of the, of the different pedals and stuff. And what I'm doing is I'm just running um, just a SM57 in front of the speaker so you can kind of hear what it would sound like through a speaker. So here's the um, like the strumming sound through the speaker. And then here's a similar thing but with finger picking. What you'll notice is the the strumming is totally dry when uh, there's no effects on it whatsoever. I mean, there's a little bit of the body res pedal just to kind of warm up um, the sound of the piezo pickup. But the um, once I pull this pedal back, that's what activates a volume boost and the effect. So you can kind of hear that ringing through. And you can use whatever effects box you want. I'm just using the old uh, Line 6 M5 stomp box modeler uh, just because it allows me to have a few different effects um, if I just want a delay or reverb or whatever I'd want as kind of my finger picking uh, effect. But in general, I don't really want anything on my strumming anyway. So here it is again. go ahead and walk through the different pedals here and how they are uh, routed so you can get an idea how we can switch the different tones. Um, the first pedal that you see here is the classic Ernie Ball VP Junior. Um, this in general is, is used as a volume pedal but for this setup I'm actually using it as an expression pedal and so um, then we have here the uh, classic Boss Chromatic Tuner. Uh, definitely want a tuner on your pedal board. And then here we have the uh, One Control Mesquite Blender Expressio. And um, I don't see this on very many people's pedal boards, but this is pretty crucial to this particular one. And this is how I can basically use the, um, the Ernie Ball volume pedal as an expression pedal to turn on and off the, the effects. And uh, up here we have the TC Electronics um, body res. And what that does is just get a, give a little warmth to the sound, to the piezo pickup. And um, again, the Line 6 M5 Stomp Box Modeler, and then the um, Radial J48 uh, Active Direct Box. And the other features I have on here, um, I ended up making this, the wood part of this pedal board. And um, so I built in just its own dedicated power and then also a USB charger. I, I don't use that as much anymore, but I used to use it for a, um, a page turner, like a Bluetooth pedal that I needed power for. So it was just handy to have that on there. And then on the other side uh, is of course the quarter inch plug-in. Now, it looks pretty nice from the top, but it's 
actually looks kind of ugly <laughs> from the underside. Um, but I'll show you what that looks like because there's a bunch of stuff routed under there and there's actually another pedal under there as well. So uh, here we'll flip this upside down. So as we flip it around, we have, you know, all the cables necessary. And then there's this, uh, just a clean uh, preamp to get that volume boost. And this is a worm burner pedal. I'm not sure if these are being made anymore, but I bought a few of them online and they actually have worked fantastic for the purpose of just giving you nice, clean gain, plenty of headroom, that kind of a thing. So, um, so that's kind of hiding under there because I don't touch that volume. It's already set to where I want it to be. And then when I adjust the, um, the expression pedal, then that uh, changes the volume between my strumming volume and my picking volume. So as I said, the Ernie Ball pedal is being used as an expression pedal. So the, um, the input here is actually the ring and uh, the output is the tip. And so this is running then into the expression pedal input in this uh, one control pedal. And um, that allows it to bypass the um, effects when I have it all the way forward. And then it turns the effects on as I pull back on the pedal. So routing wise, um, when I plug my guitar cable into the right side there, the first thing it's going into is the tuner. So it's just totally um, just straight in. And then you can see as it's routing up here, it, this heads into the body res pedal, pedal. And then from there, you have the input of the one control. So it heads this and this, basically these two are going to be on you know, or it's running through those at all times before any effects or anything like that. And so both my strumming and my finger picking tone is going through this. So the routing of the effects are a little bit complicated, but here we go. So we're out of the send, out of the one control is actually heading into the input of the line six unit. And then the output of the line six unit is then heading into the input of the worm burner. And then the output of the worm burner is then heading back up here into the return. So it just creates this loop that basically can be turned off or on with the expression pedal. And then course the uh, heading out of there that just goes straight to the, um, the direct box and then into the front of house PA or whatever you're plugging into. So hopefully that gives you some ideas if you're uh, contemplating putting together your own acoustic guitar pedal board. Um, there's thousands of ways you could put, it, put together a board but um, I love this one and so I would love to hear if you decide to put something like this together yourself and how that works for you, or if you found um, maybe another combination of pedals that's just a great fit for you, go ahead and throw those in the comments. I'd love to interact with you, but um, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you learned some things and uh, keep strumming.